Hey guys, this is Ariel Siegelman with the Draco Group. I'm here to talk today about the uh, the attack, the horrible attack that happened in Las Vegas a couple days ago. Um, a lot of my friends have asked me, hey man, what do you think about that? So, first of all, it's horrible, obviously, but this is what I think. I think it's not the first time it's happened, and it's not going to be the last time that it happened. And part of the reason that it's not going to be the last time that it's going to happen is because of the kind of news articles that I'm looking at and the kind of news articles that I'm listening to on the radio and on the television. See, I opened up my computer this morning only to read what kind of gun the guy was using and how many guns he had and how many mag what kind of magazine and how big the magazine guys what does that matter who cares we're barking up the wrong tree here I want to show you something this is a pen this is a hammer this is a screwdriver And this is a rifle. All of these things are just tools. They're all just tools. And in the right hands, they're used for good things. And in the wrong hands, they're used for terrible things. And so, what are we doing asking how many bullets did he have and how many guns did he have? Who cares? It's just tools. The point is, what was his intent? Well, we know what his intent was, but how come we didn't know what his intent was before he did it? See, if we're focused so much on walking down that road of like getting rid of the tool or what now, they're gonna start to outlaw, I bet they're gonna try to outlaw at least the, uh, the butt stock on that weapon. So, so that's gonna cause people to stop doing bad things. If you get rid of magazines that carry a hundred rounds then suddenly bad people can't do bad things that's crazy it's in fact it's not crazy it's just plain stupid um, you know I was listening to NPR in the car and uh, and they found some guy whose family owns a gun shop it almost made me laugh because they find this one guy who's like talking to, talking about how he's gonna give away all of his guns He's, uh, he just can't believe, he, he sounded like he was going to cry on the radio or something, right? Like, w guys, this is what perpetuates the problem. It allows it to continue. If we're not going to focus on the problem and look it right in the eye and say, yeah, we got a problem. There are bad people out there. There are people with bad intent who want to harm other people. And maybe start asking the question of, Okay, how do we figure out how to keep someone with, how do we figure out how to, how to identify someone with bad intent? And then not only keep guns out of their hands, but guys, someone with bad intent, I don't want them to have one of these either. So, I'd kind of like to know, how did the guy break the window without anybody noticing? How did, how did he get... To, to do the things that he did, these are the kind of questions that we, ha we should be asking, and we should be implementing protocols that actually have to do with real security and are not about emotional silliness that, that focus on the wrong things that ultimately are just about some kind of political silliness that, uh, that people are going to use to try to outlaw guns or try to outlaw butt stocks or try to outlaw magazines it's all just such stupidity i'm sorry to say it but that's what i got for you today on the uh on the las vegas thing my heart goes out to the people who have been injured and killed but guys this ain't about sitting down and passing out flowers and singing songs and crying and letting it break us this is about asking good questions this is about looking into this deeply and studying it and trying to make sure it can't happen again how about that Guys, be safe and be real. Don't bark up the wrong tree. Yalla bye.